Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to this live video here on Facebook, which we'll be posting to YouTube <clears throat> later on. So let me see if I can just get a little position for this. Okay, cool. Little plant. So I'm just going to wait for a few moments for people to join in. So everyone, welcome to the video. Today's topic is um, a topic that's like very dear to my heart and it's one of the most important things in spirituality. So I haven't made a live video in a short while, in approximately a week and a half, um, but I just felt inspired and called to make a video about forgiveness, healing and letting go today. So for me, spirituality and real life and the spiritual life all revolves around. It's nothing to do with psychic abilities or astral traveling, nothing. That's just the fun and games. That's like the Lego of the real world. But for me, spirituality all revolves around the purity and the clarity of your heart and your overall vibration. And that includes your mind also. So for me, it's all about the purity and the higher vibration of your mind and heart and everything combined. So the third eye and the psychic abilities only serve, but they come from your mind and your heart. If you have a corrupt, bogged down, dirty and hurt heart and mind, you're going to use your psychic abilities for stuff like black magic or darkness or just for nothing good whatsoever. So a lot of people think that New Age spirituality is about crisp, like all sorts of stuff like gadgets and gizmos. And it's not. Well, that's what not, not what real spirituality is like. It's not about like wearing an amulet or a pendant or wearing a funny dress. It's not about like looking spiritual. It's it's not about like having a label of being spiritual. It's not about looking a certain way. With that's just like all shallow surface level spirituality. Hey Vernon, high health burger. Heather burger, sorry. <laughs> Healthy burger. Hey! Hi, John. John, you always join me. Hola, amigo. Vernon, much love. So for me, spirituality and what my life is all about, it's all about personal growth and it's all about healing. So for me, it's all about personal growth and personal development. Mm -hmm. And so this video, I'm going to talk about like letting go and healing everyone, okay? And how to forgive. Because this is, this is, an, this is an instrumental thing about... Um, living the life that you truly want and manifesting your dreams that you truly want because you cannot do it if your heart is extremely heavy your aura is dirty which represents your heart and your mind being full of it, like ego immature ego and hurt ego like hurt inner child then you, then you can't create a life that you truly want from your heart from a loving mm -hmm. empowered balanced state Thanks, Steve James. He says, hey, buddy, looking good. Always a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure to have you guys join me and you join me as well, Steve, and everybody else. <laughs> and Heather says, yeah, you tell us, brother. Anderson says, oh, no, man, how's life? Life's pretty good, Anderson. It's been a challenging year, but it's, you know, I'm getting better all the time, little by little, with the grace of God and my human friends, who are very loving, heart-centered beings with a lot of wisdom and experience in life, I have to say. Thanks for sharing my video, Anton. That's sweet. Yeah, everyone. Thanks for sharing the video. Let other people know. <laughs> but uh, does anyone know how to invite friends into this live video? I'd love to invite a friend. Um, what's this? I see. Is this? There's a little button. One second. Um, invite friends. Mm. Damn it! I want to invite some friends into the live call. You know. <laughs> Damn! I wish they could join me. Anyway. Yeah, that's enough of that. Sorry about that. So in this video, I'm going to start getting cracking now on how in my own life, I have learned to heal and let go of my burden and baggage so I can move on and create a very happy and prosperous life for myself and other people who I love and care about. Okay. So one thing that's very important to realize is we, when people make mistakes and they hurt us, um, 
it's important to realize that they're just doing their best in life you know like like us and they're basically often acting out of hurt if anyone is like mean selfish impatient inconsiderate unthoughtful vengeful arrogant annoying like well annoying isn't actually a behavior but if they're ungenerous if they're fearful disrespectful unintegral dishonorable there's one word that can describe all of this everyone and that's the simple word disconnected they're disconnected from their deeper truth and their higher self of who they truly are they're disconnected from the awesome person that they are when there's an old woman falling over or there's a car crash or there's a tsunami people like want to help in these situations generally especially when there's an immediate emergency people's true colors is not the bad colors like some people say in life oh i saw their true colors they were they were assholes that's not their true colors that's their disconnected colors society has it all upside down so the true colors is their best colors that's what people are like for real when they help you when you're in need and they jump up and help you so uh, if we can remember like when we act poorly or others act poorly it's because we've pinched ourselves off from our higher self how do we do that it's by thinking it's by thinking wrongly basically speaking it's thinking and perceiving in a way where we're just doom and gloom vision it's like we're thinking the worst of people so when we start our higher self <coughs> or god or source or spirit all that is is unconditional love so when we tune into unconditional love through our thinking and our perception thinking of the best of people remembering the best of people imagining the best to come imagining the best of people remembering and feeling into the feeling of the best of people when they're the best for us to us that's and when we align with the spiritual the truth of things like and if think positively like things are going to work out and then we do what we can do and we pray and we have faith and we leave the, the rest in the universe these are the thoughts that align us with our spirit and we feel good emotionally that's how we know if we're if we're connected it's how good or bad we feel emotionally so this is how we can forgive and let go and heal everyone. Part of it's got to do with thinking and aligning with our truth. That's like the best, most empowering thing in the world. If all of my videos, if you can, if you can think right, tune into your truth, tune, tune into your, be, your better self and your more positive side of things. As you think, so shall you feel emotionally. So that's one way to forgive you you stop thinking so badly towards people and you stop remembering all the bad stuff that you did stop doing that everyone just stop it it's good to think about it a bit so we can talk about it and talking about what we don't like talking about what we fucking hate like that don't suppress that shit everybody like that's why i said that like talk about what you effing hate or dislike or don't want that's part of healing and clearing the energy that's like getting a broom and like brushing it all like the, the dust off your floor and the cobwebs you don't live there you don't focus there you don't talk about that like every day for years you just talk about it for a short while while you need to let it out it's like let it out of your system in the process of talking about what you don't want and like you're get, becoming wiser and clearer on what you actually do want and like you know you're, you're actually gaining wisdom and clarity of the mind and even the heart you're, you're letting out the heart baggage and you're letting out the cobwebs of the mind so that's one way to heal it's an essential way it's like the common phrase a problem halved is a problem no a problem shared is a problem halved um, so I found that in my own life to be extremely helpful especially with people who are empowered and loving and conscious and wise because they don't try and build a big story of victimhood which, will, which the disempowered, unconscious person will. They'll be like, oh, affect that person, they're just assholes. Like, yeah, affect them. Like, I hope they have a bad life. No, no, no. That's not what a loving, empowered being who's connected much of the time or a lot of the time. That's not, they don't support your negative story, but they hold a healing space to listen to you. And they empathize with your pain and hurt. Something like along the lines of, yes, I understand. 
I would feel something like the same way if I was in your shoes. I can understand how you feel that pain and hurt and frustration. You know, that type of healing space, they validate your emotions. They don't criticize you or put anybody down. You listen together and you learn. <laughs> Problem shared is a pro Hey, Ulf, dude. Nice to see you, man. Love you. You're a brilliant, beautiful friend. We should stay in touch more often <laughs> in private messages. <laughs> Happy to hear my soul family. <laughs> hey, Diane. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I would have. Diane says, hello. You could have told us you were going to be live. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> that's a joke because that's the topic of the video. Anyway, great to hear from you, Ulf. And Anderson says, so true. So everyone, so we go through a little process, okay? Because there's a process of grieving, grieving and letting go and healing, okay? When we have a pain, a loss, a hurt, or a trauma, there's a process. Ulf, send me a video message. Yeah, you say, or a voice message or some texts. Like, let's stay in touch. Like, I stay in touch with my close friends, like, regularly, my closest friends. Especially when it's synchronized in the moment of what we're going through. But it's all, it's all good, though. But yeah, you, I'd like to hear from you more. Um, John says, can I get on the private message? <laughs> well, John, we don't really know you very well, do we? <laughs> but uh, it's nice that you're asking, can you get on my private message list? It's sweet, you know, nice heart feeling. <laughs> Thanks for your love and care and interest. Anton says, etheric man, radiant one. Thank you, Anton. It's love, and, love and light to everybody. St Stephen Stokes, oh my God. Is that you? Yes, it's Stephen <laughs> Peace and love, brother. Hey, dude, I hear you did well in the chess tournament a while ago. Well done for keeping that up. <laughs> I think I gave that a like. Good to hear from you. It's been a while. Uh, an Irish chess friend, old time chess friend. Then John says, kidding, brother. Yes, lol. Very good. Much love. <laughs> so, so then the next process for me in my life, everyone, just to like, because I like to talk about my own personal experience, you know, is... Um, after I, it's a back and forth process, like well, what I don't like, what's been hurtful, what's been hard, what's been challenging. And then my best friends, they get to give me insights and knowledge and wisdom and experience. And they share with me to help me to learn, you know. They support me, they listen, they hold the space, they give me good information and insights. And together, I often help them with what they're going through and listen to them and we're almost like mutual counsellors so to speak, like space holders and healers. We, we learn together, we grow together. So the next process is thinking about and envisioning what you want. So if it's related to people, you open your heart by thinking, remembering and imagining good, the best of them you know, for the future and the past. You remember the best things about them. You talk about the best things about them too, as much as you can, which is usually very difficult when you're upset with somebody and you feel victimized or ba badly treated. So you're switching the energy and the focus. If it's about like health or business, you stop, you don't focus on what you used to have that you don't anymore. You, you start to focus on um, your vision, like brilliant health. I love running like I'm, I'm going to be fit and powerful and strong more than I used to be I am going to imagine how good it feels like to have like lots of money to share with people like to buy as much as I want um, to, to feel comfortable and easy how does it feel emotionally to have feel comfort and easy and um, so this, this, this is like it wouldn't it be great if we could do this like let's let's do this let's do that let's do this like walk up the mountain let's buy picnic uh, presents for other people you start thinking about what feels good, everyone, and you see the smile is on my face. <laughs> so feel what it feels like to have money in your bank, like or something like that, you know? Um, to be able to share more abundantly. So another way to let go and heal, everyone, because this is what the topic of the video is trying to revolve around, is to have love and compassion on the suffering of other people. Like, just like us, everyone, we all make mistakes. So they hurt, we hurt, everyone hurts. And I, 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 I hate hurt, I don't want to hurt. I don't want the rest to be hurting. People are crying, you know? People are crying behind the, the closed doors that you're not looking at. And that's like, for me, that's like sad to think about. 
Like people are hurting a lot, you know. People are struggling. People are having stress and hardship. If we can remember that they hurt and they suffer and they have dreams and hopes and aspirations. And a lot of the time they, they don't know how to manifest their dreams, hopes and aspirations. Just like we, we're learning to. We'll always be learning until the day we die. So to have compassion for the pain and suffering of other life forms and other human beings is like pivotal for letting go of the animosity against them, you know? So just have compassion. Like we're all like wounded children doing our best, struggling in life. So you don't want to hurt them more, you know? That's what I said in a video many years ago. You don't want to hurt people more. You want to hurt them less and you actually want to help them to heal and give them a bit of love. Yeah. So Andin Anderson is talking about, yeah. Yeah, dude, you Anderson said he used to have compuls compulsive gambling addiction. That's how he's been battling for over seventeen years. Yeah, I know I, I I get you, Anderson's it's a tough ride for all of us and um I can only imagine it's very, very, very tough. So I'm sorry for all that hurt and pain, bro. Um I have a friend who's like you know, he's a gorgeous guy and it's his anorexic condition he's had for 10 years or so that's made him the man he is. And he's 90% better, he says. But it's a mental thing, you know. Um, and he's just the most beautiful being. And it's the suffering that makes us everybody, generally. When we can overcome it and process it and learn from it and stuff. So yeah, well, I'm glad that you've come so far, Anderson. Because I see you on Facebook and you seem to be a very loving person, a sweet soul, supportive to me and kind and make me I feel happy because of your kindness and friendship with me. So thanks. <laughs> so how to forgive more and let go. Crying, talking about it. If we really, really need to, if we feel we have an abundance of anger, it's sort of hard to get rid of. You can punch a pillow. This is okay to do, everyone. Just don't hurt yourself, which is usually punching a bit of a pillow for a few seconds or a few moments. Shouldn't hurt you. Um, it's not something that I've... Yeah, I've punched bloody stuff in the past, like walls, lots of times. So it's like 10, 10, 15 years ago or something. 10, 12, 13, 14 years. <laughs> um, and even like cursing and letting out the pain, the hurt verbally and saying some bad stuff like letting out the, the pain, the hurt. That's okay. It's just, it's just, it's like energy release. You open the tap and the pain comes out and then you close, the tap closes by itself. So another thing to forgive and understand everyone is to um, understand on a deeper level things happen for a reason and it's all perfect. And most surely things are going to be absolutely perfect in the future for sure. It all happened. It was as it was. It is as it is. It will be as it will be. Try and surrender. Try and have accept acceptance. Okay. Try have acceptance, peace, and love in your heart towards the it, what was, what is, and what will be. This means a sense of faith. A sense of trust in higher powers or spirit or whatever you want to, the word you want to call it god source infinite being whatever you want the universe trust things happen for a reason and the soul contracts everyone we're just we're like we're like plugged into a game with these physical bodies even metaphysics says it's 99.999999 percent empty space this is like a holographic universe what we think is solid is just like energy and force fields and stuff it's we're the consciousness and we're like in a game like avatar or the matrix so in the truer the truer life things happen for a reason and we have pains losses hurts suffering we, sadly to say i'm sorry sometimes like all these like crazy hard things happen and they're actually not an accident but they're for a reason for our actual spiritual growth and that's hard to say sometimes it's hard to accept especially if we're in an angry victimhood, unhealed state still. We just want to lash out and say, fuck you, universe, like, piss, piss off you, I hate you, I don't want to live anymore. And I was like, I was kind of like there before, you know, I was sick and tired of life, I didn't want to live, 
I was I reached my rock bottom limit and I just did I was sick and tired of life. I didn't want to live anymore. And it was a tough time, you know, like I suffered tremendously as even physically, mentally, emotionally, every single day for quite a long time. That's why I never struggled to wake up. Some people say waking up is difficult. It's like it's hard because you have to face so many things. You have to face the truth. Yeah. Yeah, Anderson says I'm like this sometimes, man. Well, I'd recommend part of the healing process and is connecting with healing places. It could be yoga, it could be meditation, it could be a spiritual center, it could be a healing retreat. It, it could be a meetup group, like laughter yoga or yoga or walking in nature. Do something that's nurturing. If you can, follow your hobbies and passions, like it could be dancing, nature walking, cycling, swimming, dancing, art, music, playing music, making music, listening to music. I'd recommend listening to high vibrational healing music that helps clear, such as Snatam Kaur. Kaur. She is the one I listen to the most. It's just clearing, helps heal the energy. If you're suffering and you need help in letting go and healing everyone, so you can let go of the baggage, I'd also recommend going to healers or counselors, whatever you resonate with. But I would always recommend healers. That's what's worked for me. And always work on your mind. That's essentially important. Don't think in a way that creates misery, think in a way that relieves misery and creates you feeling better. Um, so, if you can see the lesson in, this, in a contract or a relationship or a life's tragic event, this will help you to let go and move on. Eventually, as we open our hearts, we can have love and gratitude more. As we have higher understanding for a life's event, we can have love and gratitude more. We can actually have like thanks gratitude and thanksgiving for our past, which is where I am now for nearly everything in my past. Um, I have acceptance and peace. And acceptance, peace and surrender, they're all actual emotional states of, we of energy and well-being. Acceptance, surrender and peace doesn't mean you don't do anything. You definitely do stuff if you can, if you feel it's the right time and you're able, of course. Sometimes you just accept, surrender, have faith, trust and peace and you let go and you don't do anything for a few days or a week or like if you're stuck in jail, you can't do anything for years potentially, but you can reach a state of acceptance, peace and surrender. Similarly, if other things are out of your control and you're not in jail, but it's something a little bit similar, you might have to take a back seat and just reach this state of acceptance, surrender, trust, faith and peace. But I gotta tell you everyone, this is how you become a more powered manifester of your life, a conscious creator. Within this place of acceptance, peace, love, surrender, detachment from exact outcomes that you want, a sense of openness to the universe to give and bring you what's for your highest good and what's actually better for you than what you might be even thinking about. Because sometimes we say, we want, I want this person to be in a relationship with or I want this job, and you might say, and I want it now. <laughs> That's what we usually say as well. And I want it the way, I, like, I was gonna say, and I want it the way I want it. And it's okay to want to, your relationship the way you want, and it's, it's okay to know what you want. But we can't be attached to that, because the universe or God or spirit will give you, give, give you things that you need rather than what you exactly want. Sometimes what you, what you need is what you want, so you still get what you want. But other times what you need isn't what you actually want. Because sometimes what you want is from a place of ego and hurt and pain and neediness, insecurity, desperation. Spirit, you didn't come here to be pampered like a baby and get everything you want. That's not an adventure. That's like a, that's like a boring life to most, a lot of souls, especially coming to earth. <laughs> if you want to be, live a pampered, easy life, don't come to earth. So basically everyone on earth, you didn't come for a pampered, easy life. You've come here for a fecking, riveting roller coaster ride. <laughs> so, um, what was I going to say else? <laughs> it just makes me laugh to think like people want such a cushy ride, you know? You didn't, that's not what you've come here for. 
and you can see it all around you. Everyone goes through troubles and hardships and challenges, everyone. Everyone, all of my close friends, almost every single one of my close friends like, and, and associates, they're going through challenges and hardships in life. Don't worry about it, you're not the only one. So that's another thing, if you realize and think this thought, which is connected to spirit, that you're not the only one, and this is the way it is for everyone. That's a, an alignment thought that brings peace and letting go. So Emily says, so true, you can't always get what you want, but if you, if you try sometimes, you, you, you get what you need. <laughs> Heather says, lol, roller coaster. <laughs> Yes, roller coaster. So you never know what to expect. <laughs> Expecting unexpected. <laughs> so um so yeah, being open to the future instead of afraid, you know, that's a pivotal part of feeling peace in life. You can say, I want this home. You can if you want, but just be careful. Because there's there's another quotation saying, be careful what you ask for, because the ego is afraid and wants security and certainty. The higher self is comfortable enough with uncomfortableness and un and it's comfortable with uncertainty and insecurity as in the insecurity of not knowing what's going to happen so the higher self is is okay with not knowing what's going to happen in the future but we almost like un un like almost like unhealed little children we want to know because we're afraid Ooh, please tell me it's going to be okay so the best affirmation you can give, which is an open affirmation, is everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Things are okay. Things were okay. Things are working out for me. Things are working out for everybody. Say a prayer. May, may I have what I want, please, if it's for my highest good. And may everyone's highest good be served. Blessings and love to all. Peace, love, joy to everybody. Honor, respect, integrity to the, to the deeper souls and the truth of everybody. Peace, love, compassion, healing to all, me and everyone. Thank you, God, universe, source, for your support in my highest vision for myself and others, which comes from my higher space. You know, the ego wants to be selfish, the higher soul prays and loves everyone and cares for everyone so um, hey thanks everyone for keeping oh my god lots of people sharing the video thanks everyone it's like that's sweet adds more value to what i'm doing which i do appreciate a lot and i love to see so thank you very much <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone that's lovely yeah keep sharing as much as you all want and are able thanks so emily says i found the more you let go the more things just work out perfectly in their own way 100% agree. Same here. You can't tell God what to do. <laughs> or source, you know, spirit, universe. <laughs> Demanding like at the table, like, give me this. Be flexible, everyone. Be flexible. Like so much uncertainty. People don't know where, my friends and family and people I know, they don't know where they're going to be living in another month. They're, they're, they're faced with uncertainty. They don't know if they're going to be in the same relationship in another week or month. And me too, with this sort of stuff, like other stuff, same stuff, overlapping stuff. People don't know, like there's so much uncertainty. Um, so forgiving and letting go. Forgiving and letting go. Letting go is all about energetic clearance. Forgiving is also about energetic clearance. But forgiving kind of generally relates to people or ourselves, forgiving. Letting go can relate to anything, any baggage you're holding on to. Letting non-forgiveness and not letting go is like being a hoarder. You're holding on to stuff. And this can actually, well, I was going to say it can create constipation because constipation is actually a physical symptom of like holding on to things, but, but that's a different story. So one way to forgive ourselves is just to know everyone, like, and to forgive others, we're just doing our best. Like, don't hold ourselves or other people to like unrealistic high standards. Like, come on, we ain't. We're like this is like an angel academy. 
We ain't full-fledged angels with wings yet. So you can't expect someone to be perfect. Like, just fucking hell. Forgive ourselves and forgive other people. Like, so if we, if we accept this and we look at people more like innocent five-year-old children who are in pain and, and hurt, then we can forgive them much better. And we can forgive ourselves much better. So think about it, okay? Let's say someone treats you badly. Why? Because they're disconnected from their aligned state. They're unaligned. Because why? Because they've been hurt in the past and they haven't learned the tools how to heal and let go. They haven't learned the tools and the wisdom through their own learning and who they've encountered and spent time with in life and what they've happened to come across or study. They, they didn't know how to handle the situation and out of their hurt, pain and confusion, they acted poorly. And that's what we do. And that's what other people do. And it creates more pain and suffering. So we can end the cycle by thinking good, like I was saying, and uh, practicing virtues. Like, how do we become an angel in this angel academy of earth? Okay, and what what qualities do angels have? I know what qualities they have, and it's in it's in our higher self. It's in our truth. <laughs> Spirulina, the qualities they have is what I call virtues, and what I call myself and what I am is an. A, a, a virtue cultivator. That's what I like to do in life. And how do I do that? One is letting go of the rubbish and the garbage that blocks me. Because all of non-forgiveness and all of holding on is a blockage in your energy system. And even your physical body to a degree also. Because energy hurts and pains and blockages are stored in our cells, which is part of our body. So if you have a lot of anger, it stores generally the same liver, for example, and it helps you know, your liver will be not working perfectly. You can have a liver problem. And if you let the anger go, your liver will start working better. So, there's two ways to cultivate virtues. One is to have the intention to want to do it with a passion and, and behave more in a way and think more in a way like a samurai or an angel would think, especially an angel. And this, the first way to, let, to become more angelic and to cr create virtues is to let go of all the pain, hurt and stuff. So that's it. It's simple, you know. So if you can recognize spiritual truths, such as everything happens for a reason, the universe is on your side. The universe is a loving universe and it's supporting you in your highest mission. So everyone in my life, I'll tell you about my life. I get like a lot of synchronicities, a lot. People come into my life to support me in my current thing that I'm working through synchronistically and it's amazing. They help me and I help them and it's just, it's just a coordinated soul contract effort. So some soul contracts are to help me heal from my other painful soul contracts which created hurt in me. New soul contract comes in, helps me to heal from that and learn from that event. So that's the way we can have two different types of soul contracts, so to speak. The good and the bad, the easy and the hard, the positive and the negative. <laughs> One creates a gash, blows us open, disintegrates our ego, almost. <laughs> our life that we knew is like, gone, blown away. That's what happened to me. Then we have other soul contracts, help us to gather the pieces, recollect, rebuild ourselves. And that's the easier, the other part of soul contracts. We have, we have, I think, what, what's called a twin, we can have twin flame relationships. Their relationships, from what I've gathered, they're like a candle burning. They can be fiery and intense, and but they burn out. They are like, they are more like the challenging, expansive relationships. And I've had one of them. <laughs> Whew, scorching hot, difficult. Soulmate relationships, they're more the harmonious, peaceful, connected, co-creative relationships with harmony. Peace, love, joy, laughter, connection, fun. You do stuff together, you make really good positive things together which benefit the world or your community, your little society or your, the world. 
Emily says, cutie, cutie. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. So, I think, is there anything else now before I go to talk about my ways in which I've learned to heal and let go of pain from the past to forgive? Okay, so I'm going to think for a second of what other people have done that hurt me a lot. Um, and me as well, because I've done stuff to really hurt myself, especially physically. Um, yeah. In my family, people who have been really close to have done some things that have really hurt me. And it's traumatising. And how I forgave is I like, understood them. They didn't have the tools like I was saying earlier. They were they were using, for example, alcohol as a coping mechanism so they wouldn't actually ex impl implode internally. They needed a valve to let out that pain and hurt and that intense pressure they were under. They were really struggling and suffering in life. And uh, it makes me feel emotional. I almost bring tears to my eye to think about that. And I bless myself as a blessing of love and gra or gratitude, and this one's for love. And truth, that's why I bless myself, double, quadruple, whatever, lots of blessings. So someone in my, my family were like hurting desperately and they let out the pain and alcohol was one of their tools because they didn't have better, healthier tools, but they were desperate and they, they got this tool. It created some havoc, for sure, for like quite a lot of years in my teenage years. But I've long ago forgiven this person. Not only have I forgiven them, I'm glad that they did that, because without them letting out all that pain, they could have, a healer said, they could have got like cancer or another serious sickness from all of this suppressed, really strong emotions. So I'm really glad that they didn't get sick or like have get cancer or anything else. I'm glad that they let out their pain. It's like, this is the thing, everyone. This is how you forgive. You forgive by understanding and having compassion and feeling sorry for people's pain. That's how you can forgive the easiest. It's okay, Emily. Thanks. Emily says, you're beautiful inside and out and gives me sweetheart hug. <laughs> Thank you, mother. <laughs> Your mother, I, this is divine feminine motherly behavior. Thank you. <laughs> I love that so much. I love the divine feminine more than anything else because it touches my heart more than anything else. Mm -hmm. ah, this video is in the mother, the embrace of the, the plant that I have in my room. It's just resting against it. I love it. So that's what I'm looking at. A lovely plant, green plant in a purple pot. So if you want to forgive, and I can think of other examples too in past relationships, why did people not act loving towards me? Because they couldn't, they didn't know how, they weren't able. You cannot give what you do not have to give or you do not have access to give. All the beauty and the gifts is in our higher, is in our higher self, it's right there. We have it all to give. But you know what, if, if you can't get it, if, it's, if you can't reach it, you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't grab it, you can't give it then. It's gone, it's tied up, it's still there, but you just... That's what disconnected is. You don't have access to the beauty and love within you. And if you want to think about the goodness of people, just remember they are the beauty. They are that loving moment. They were kind and loving to you. They were the gentle gesture. They were the moment of affection. They were when they kissed you on the head. They were the love that they gave you. That's who they are. Don't confuse people's hurt, messed up behavior for who they are. Don't keep thinking about it all the time. Let it go and think about it. Sometimes you feel like it, talk about it, release it. But deep in your heart, feel into, the, into who they are and have love and compassion. Everything happens for a reason. And we cannot give what we don't have or have access to either. So have peace towards you and everybody. I suppose, um, is there anything else? Just wish people well and pray for them as well, a little bit. Send them a good vibe.
I wish to, in my life I say, I want you to be happy, I hope you're happy. I wish you happiness, I wish you connection, I wish you love, I wish you peace, I wish you happiness, I wish you harmony, I wish you the best of everything in life. And whatever will be, will be between me and you. It could be a family member or a part, an ex-partner or someone you had a trouble with. And the more you open your heart, the more you're free to move on and to manifest your dreams. And your dreams could mean the relationship of your dreams. Imagine what it feels like to be in a relationship with someone like your best friend. Who are you close to in life? Imagine your, for me, it's my mum and like a best friend, um, a best friend or two, you know, a few, a few of my closest friends. Imagine like being in a relationship with somebody like that who gets you, who loves you, deeply appreciates you and admires you and respects you. Think about that, feel into that and know that in the process of letting go and healing and forgiving, you open up to a different vibration where you'll be ready to receive and attract the law of attraction. You're going to be ready to receive and attract your next level of, vibe, of relationship, health, abundance, work, job, money, career, calling, purpose, life that you truly want deep in your heart. Because one of my amazing friends said to me lately, your higher self wants to give you what you want deep down truly in your heart. You know, not, not really from the ego selfish state where you're against others and you're competing, but from your deeper heart, you, your higher self wants to give you this, but you just need to allow it to be able to be received. Like, like I was saying earlier, having access, you need to be able to access what your higher self wants to give to you. You what your truest, deepest self wants you to experience. So get clear on what you want to experience in life. Feel the emotions related to it by imagining having it. And thinking about the ways in which you have this type of energy already. So for example, for me, I'll imagine the feelings I have with my mum, the feelings I have with my best friends, the amazing mm -hmm. friendship, the qualities that are embodied and how I feel talking and interacting with my best friends and my mum. And I feel like the relationship, the feelings I have towards my daughter, a new little baby come into the world. The more you can live in a place of positive emotions, good feelings, and gratitude, and feeling abundant, mm -hmm. and sharing love and abundance and gratitude with others, the universe is going to keep giving you what you're ready for. And your life is just going to keep getting better and better. And that's what's happened in my life. And getting better and better and better is like a bit of a roller coaster we ride, you know? Like, because this year I had a big, big, massive challenge. And it was probably like, I'm 35 years now, okay? 35 years young or old, whatever way you want to put it. For me, emotionally, it feels the same way. So it doesn't matter what I say, whatever. 35 years old, 35 years young. Since the age of probably 22, not 23 or 24 it's been the hard so it's been the hardest in around 10 or 11 years but it's been expansive and i've definitely had a dip it was hard and challenging like i had had trouble hardship like i had emotional upset and pain but i've swung up because of all this processing that i've been mentioning in the video i've been talking about stuff i've been letting out stuff i've been hearing feedback from my friends and I've been learning and growing. I've expanded enormously. So I'm a totally new person now. It's been the biggest growth filled four months of my life. Like it's unbelievable. And this happened through a loss. And it happened through releasing attachment. And it happened through releasing a whole lot of childhood pain that was stuck in me that I couldn't get rid of. So this soul contract that I was in, they helped me, they helped store up stuff in me. And it was fantastic. Like, what a blessing. I couldn't get to that in all of my 10 years worth of hardcore, passionate spirituality and self-healing and growth. I just couldn't get to it. And they, they kicked it up. They, they got it up 
and I was, it was painful for two and a half months. Imagine that. And on my synchronistic number 13, and 13th of May, it subsided by 95% or more. It was like, it was, it was so good. On the 12th, it was like 60, 70% better. 13th, 95% subsided. <laughs> so Anton says, yep, disintegrate your ego every time you feel anger, insult, or frustration. Oh, and I am 36, but I, I am younger spiritually. <laughs> Yeah, like Abraham says, you have no idea how old you truly are <laughs> as a spirit. So everyone, it's been my honor and blessing to make this video and just to share what's been within me. You know, I just wanted to make this video to help people because this is so difficult in life sometimes. It's such an enormous thing in our life to, to heal and to let go because we get stuck in patterns and we get stuck in negative behaviors when we're holding on to stuff. We're like, like a deer in, in the headlights, dazed. So when we let go, we open up. It's the same with physical detox. You get rid of the crap, you, you allow better absorption, um, digestion, utilization of, of nutrients and you create a space to, to become strong and healthier. You gotta let go. And we just grow in life. Life is a journey. Have patience, take one day at a time. Trust, pray, give thanks. Connect with like-minded spirits who uplift you and help you to heal, who love you. And people who listen to you and give you good feedback on how you can get better and learn in life. So, yeah, I hope this video has helped everybody. Um, Right now, emotionally, I'm feeling interesting. I don't know how to describe it, just very calm, pretty much at peace. Yeah, there's been a bit of energy making these videos, so maybe I need to get a bit more juice or like fruits or food. <laughs> One last thing to help everyone. I forgot because it's not my, my hardcore passion at all. My hardcore passion is truth, spirituality and personal healing and development. But one thing I forgot to say is stop, stop. I'd recommend like just, I was going to say stop poisoning yourself, but it sounds so bad. <laughs> I'd recommend a raw food diet. That's what Jesus and the Essenes lived by and they recommended and I totally agree. But the powers that be took it out of the Bible because they don't want to empower people. They want to, they want to disempower people so they're weak and easily controlled and sick. Then the pharmaceutical industry gives them drugs that relieve the symptoms but just make you sicker on the inside. Then you become a money patient and they love that. And you're sick, and you're easy to control and you can't think for yourself properly. So that's the truth. Emily says, thank you, Owen. It was a beautiful video. You're a true earth angel. Ah. You're so sweet too and loving and lovely too, Emily. So thank you. <laughs> You're very, very beautiful and sweet. You're an earth angel also. So thank you. You're very kind and I'm glad your parents have such a beautiful mama. They're, they're lucky and blessed. So it's very sweet. Thank you very much. I, I'm very grateful for your comments and people's love and support of me. So I am. I'd recommend supporting people when you can and listening to people Listening is deeply important, everyone. Hold the space, because this is what you want. So if you want people to hold the space for you, if you're able and in the place, give people a bit of love and compassion and listen. Let them express themselves sometimes. Um, but don't support people being a big victim if they keep talking about the same thing every single day, you know, like every single week. That's them being a victim and holding on to the story of their identity, which isn't serving them in a positive, expansive way. Thanks, Emily. You say, I love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks very much. You're, you're, lov you're loving and I appreciate that. And it's healing for me to be loved. So thanks. Very sweet. Love you too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you could eat more raw foods and fruit, we're fruit eaters by nature. We're frugivores in my humble opinion. Sorry if, if we happen to disagree. It doesn't matter if we disagree. I don't care. Like, loving you is more important and respect than having a difference of opinion. 
I respectfully disagree if you feel we're like Tyrannosaurus Rexes. <laughs> That's okay with me. It's cool, man. I still love you. I still love you all. But in my life and a lot of people's lives that I see and know in iridology, people heal and get better when they go on a, a fruit-based or a fruitarian or at least a raw food diet. This will tremendously impact your emotions and mind. For me, it's staggeringly life-changing. When you stop, when I stop, and when other, many other people stop putting in congestive, sticky, dehydrated, and cooked foods, you know, we can only do our best, everyone. We've been doing it for years, probably. It's just a transition. We can't just suddenly shift our diet 100%. But what we consume is very pivotal for our mind and our emotions and our heart. You know, if I eat cheese and sticky and congestive, crappy food, then I, I'm going to feel irritated and angry and upset. I've... I've experienced this so many times. If I have watermelon and juice and herbs, I'm going to feel good and more loving and peaceful. So I'm learning Japanese because I have a Jap half Japanese daughter. Here's some of my cleansing powder. Here is some rosemary essential oil. Here is my beautiful plant. And here is my herbs and some watermelon and some grape juice. There is an example, everyone, of what I do to feel good, to heal, body, mind, spirit. So I'm gonna end this video now, but body, mind, spirit, okay? Body, mind, spirit. Don't try working all three at the same time. That's what I've been doing for like 10 years or more. What age am I now, 35? So yeah, around like 10, 11 years I've been working on body, mind, spirit. Because we are tri-fold beings of body, mind, spirit, as conversations with God will say. So everyone, I send you love. I want to end the video now. Um, thanks for all your love and support. I sincerely pay my respect for all of your hurt and your challenges in life. The truth is, everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by accident. Nothing happens by luck. It's all div divinely orchestrated and happening. Look for the reasons in events and hurts and hardships. Heal, learn and grow. When you grow, you're going to transcend the troubles and the problems. When you change your thinking and your heart, you will transcend. You're going to overcome your obstacles gracefully and with a sense of ease and, and harmony. And you're going to have more synchronicities and divine, divine meetups with people and coincidences, which are synchronicities. This is the universe, your guides and angels and loving beings helping you on your path of challenge. This is a beautiful event, events, events, events. So look out for the signs. Know that you're loved, cared for, guided and supported. Thank your spirit guides, your past on loved relatives, which could be helping you, your ancestors, angels, angels, guardian angel, and archangels. These help you. You are a loving being of the highest order. You are unconditional love, and so is everybody else. Remember these truths and gracefully work with your challenges and fears in life. Transcend. Give thanks to your guides, angels, and spirit, and um, spirit or source or God, every day if possible. Give thanks as much as possible for everything, and get out in nature. Thank for your body and move your body. Do exercise within your limits that's happy and fun and joyful. For me, I like to play and do cartwheels or rollerblade or swim or whatever. I lift up watermelons. I do stuff like that. I do pull-ups on a tree or whatever. Each to their own. Some people like gym, yoga. Like I like a bit of yoga too. Uh, everyone's different, so have love and respect and honor and integrity for everyone. And like I said about the food, we can, be, we can lovingly agree to disagree and lovingly differ. It's okay and it's going to be okay. And we're going to pass on out of this body at some stage. So don't get too overwhelmed by your challenges. It's gonna go away, don't worry. It's gonna go away in one way or another. So just 
just gracefully have peace and gratitude for being alive, you know. It's just a temporary little experience. But do get clear on what you want to experience. Be clear on the energy and the emotions related to the thing you want to experience. They say, and I agree, <clears throat> imagine having what you want right now before you actually have it and feel the feelings that you would feel if you had it already. So for example, if you had more money, if you had the relationship you really want, how does it feel? Now be careful not to start worrying about it. Like, oh no, I don't have it. Don't, try not to go there. It's like, try think, what would you do? What would you buy? What would you spend? What would you give? Where would you live? <laughs> you see, I'm feeling good now thinking about this and I'm smiling. How happy would your relationship look like? Would they listen to you well? Would they hug you well? Would they cuddle you well? Would they kiss you well? Would they be kind to you well? Yeah, they would. Um, would they hold space for you? Would they understand you? Yeah, they'd be generous, friendly, respectful, caring, tender, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, can I know. It's good stuff at the end, Candace, eh? Like, I just thought I'd just tune in. It just came to me. I wanted a, a meaningful note at the end of the video. Heather says, thank you. Candace says, thanks, Owen. Thanks, Owen. Thank you. Candace then says, I love how you always try to end the video. But then more and more wisdom flows through. <laughs> Personally, I really liked what I've said at the end of the video. I thought it was very meaningful, and I thought it was probably my clearer message of the entire video. Um, so I feel that's the synopsis you know we have to get things in perspective perspective helps us to heal another word for perspective is deeper truth or higher truth you know and they help you to have understanding and with understanding and understanding the rules of life you can have peace for example one of the rules is you're not the only one suffering or like or having pain let's say having pain or suffering whatever way you want to call it and one other thing i want to say about suffering and pain is everyone has pain and it's okay to have pain and hurt but you could this is just words everyone don't get too serious or attached to words the same with the word trying like don't get too serious with that it's just a descriptive word and it's just hundreds of languages you know like you can't you can't give out about a word it's about the feeling related to the word in you so suffering is when you are not willing or accepting or embracing your pain and hurt that's suffering when you resist and hide against your pain and hurt that's when you suffer if you can say i feel like i feel like feckin shit i'm i'm angry and upset and sad and hopeless and feeling so down and I'm kind of okay with that then you're not suffering you just feel like shit for a while and then it gets better and you can do things to help yourself and you can just cradle yourself when we detox physically everyone or emotionally when pain arises from our past and it's not from our current thinking but it's from our past that happened to me for like two and a half months there's nothing you, there's nothing you can do to stop it you just got to manage it by doing the things to help yourself in life. It's like rocking a baby if the baby's crying. That's what you do to yourself. You just cradle yourself. You, 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 you coddle or nurture yourself. Emily says, I don't want you to go. No. <laughs> Candace says, so happy I was able to tune in. All right. Yeah, it's been a long video. Thanks, thanks everyone. Thanks Candice, Emily. Thanks for your comments, everybody. I didn't expect to make such a long video, but somehow I did. Um, I guess this has been a lot of what I've been going through this year. And I'm going to talk more about this because it's good to talk more um, in, in the future. Okay. So, I always get help from other souls. That's all I want to say. We need help. We aren't an island unto ourselves. Get the help, love and support you need and listen so you can learn from others, which is the same thing almost, getting the help and support you need. 
it's always very helpful to get the opposite sex opinion too. Not always needed, but often I found in my life it's helpful. Divine feminine, divine masculine qualities. We can all learn in those qualities. All right, everyone. So um, lots of love, and I'll see you again another time. I really enjoyed talking with it, you all today. It's been an enjoyable time. I'm really grateful. I'm grateful for Facebook. I'm just grateful for my phone. I got this phone in Thailand. I'm grateful for everything, Facebook technology. T grateful for everyone who's alive and everyone joining in this video. I'm just grateful for everything. I'm grateful for my body. And I'm even grateful for the, the goddamn challenges of life. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a baby I was 15 years ago or 10 years ago. Even two years ago, I wouldn't want to be a wounded, sort of needy, like, codependent person, you know, I just, I don't want to be an old version of myself, I, I want to grow, you know, and I'm going to say from the, from the innocent little child, I'm sorry, it's, I'm sorry to say, like, it's often pain and loss and hardship that make us grow, you know, sorry, but that's just the way it is in life. If we can make peace with this, we could be okay. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting more hardships in life in the future. It doesn't matter, whatever, everyone's the same. Like, I have friends in their 40s and 50s. They have hardships, everyone. It's not gonna end when you, tomorrow. But you know what, it's okay. We can still live on, life goes on, there's still lots of things we can do in life with all the hardships and people things, with the non-forgiveness, learn to forgive and learn our lessons, our challenges, our tests. Um, life is sweet also, you know, it's nice to be alive. It's not all doom and gloom, learning and growing is, is fun in a way, kind of, like the result is nicer life. Forgiveness doesn't mean um, agreeing with bad, like d disharmonious or negative behavior or hurtful behavior. Forgiveness is just having peace and love in your heart and understanding. That's all it is. It doesn't mean you condone like hurtful behaviors in life. So I think all of you guys know that. If anyone's here at the end, you probably know that already. <laughs> but just in case you're a newbie, I just want to clarify that. Any newbies? If you're a newbie, <laughs> being silly here, but if you're a newbie to this spirituality thing and you didn't know that forgiveness means peace, love and understanding, and it's not actually agreeing or condoning like a, a negative behavior, if you didn't know, leave a comment. If you knew, give, leave a comment. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye everyone. See you another time. Lots of love. <laughs> Thanks Emily. Emily leaves a kiss. Kiss for me. Yeah. Kisses are great. I blow kisses to... I blow kisses to loads of people. On camera and even men and women in person. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. I hope you enjoy it. See you.